We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy. I'm excited to be with you once again. Our God is such a good God. He is a gracious God. He is the God who speaks and He lives. And even today, as you watch this video, understand and know that God is with you. And because He's with you, you will make it through. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today about something that is very important and I want us to pray together. I want us to pray for the younger generation, the younger people in your house and around you. You see, this young generation today are the leaders of tomorrow. In this young generation, are special anointed ones who have been marked out to be used by God mightily and the devil is trying very hard to derail and pervert those plans and it is our responsibility as elders to pray for them to cover them in prayer to protect them to guide them in the right direction which is why such a prayer as we are going to pray today is very important and it should never be missed. If you have young people in your house or around you in your community, one of the greatest things you can do, one of the greatest seeds you can sow in their life is to pray for them, is to sow seeds of leading them in the right direction, helping them when they are in trouble, guiding them when they don't know what to do. And God will see the effort and the seed that you place in one of these young people's lives and He will bless you. So let us begin. We're going to begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit right now in your own words. Welcome the Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit of God, come and take over control today as we pray. Help us to pray correctly. Help us to seek the Father. Help us to press in and to receive from Jesus. Help us to touch the hem of His garment. I welcome you in this place, in the studio where I'm recording and in the place where my dear friend is watching. Amen. My dear friend, the younger generation of today is under heavy spiritual attack. Though they may not realize it or know it, it is very real and it is happening. I'm sure most parents who are watching this can testify to what I'm saying. Parents who are awake and watching what is happening. Believers, it is very important for us to stand up and pray for this younger generation, to stand in the gap for them and to intercede for them. I want to tell you today, watch out for the younger ones around you, whether they are in your household or in the community around you, whether they are your children or your brother's children or your sister's children, your nieces and nephews, whether they're your cousins, whether they are young people in your community who you just know from a distance, watch out for the younger ones around you and pray for them. And whenever you can, give them a helping hand or a pointer in a good direction. As you have the Word of God in you, let the Word of God guide you as you give them a pointer in the right direction. You see, the devil and the Antichrist movement is moving rapidly and trying to influence them with perverted ideas. And this is all an effort to derail the anointed generations that will come, the leaders for tomorrow. 
it is absolutely essential. If you have children or young people around you, regardless of how naughty sometimes they may be, regardless of how they perform in their grades, we should speak life and we should prophesy good things over them. Prophesy the promises of God over them. Speak life over them. Speak good things over them. Sow the right thoughts and the right ideas in their life so that they can have the things that you never had when you were young. So that they can grow up and be a generation that breaks the cycles that the generations of past have failed. Now, if you are a young person and you're watching this, I want to encourage you, choose the Bible. Choose God's way. It may seem old fashioned. It may seem boring. But if you choose to truly trust God, it will become one of the most amazing spiritual adventures. And it will really, really protect you, especially in this time. Now, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for the younger generation. And my dear friend, as you're watching this, if you're one of the believers in Christ who are trusting God for the younger generation, I encourage you, connect in faith with me. Let us pray together and God will do something. If you have children, lay your hands on them and pray for them. Speak blessings over them. Speak life. Speak success. Speak greatness. Tell your child you have greatness in you. You will make it far in life. You will go far. You will surpass the generations that came before you. You will break free of all these cycles that held all of us back. Speak life over them and bless them. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us bow our heads in prayer and let us begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to do something. Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the younger generation. Thank you, Lord, that we as your children can stand in the gap for them. We can pray. And we can trust you. We see a lot of things going on and we see an effort of the devil and his cohorts to sow perverted ideas in the younger generation. But we know that we can stand in the gap, we can pray and we can block it from happening. We give you praise and we thank you that you care about the young ones. You love them. You love them so much and you smile on them. And your hand of protection and guidance is with them. I pray even today, raise up a generation that will be mighty and anointed, that will do great things and be great leaders of tomorrow, that hold fast to the truth and go for you with an honest and sincere heart. I ask and thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear friend, I encourage you even right now, be in agreement, comment and agree, and connect in faith. In saying that, let us begin. I'm going to begin to pray for the younger generation, and I want you to agree with me. If you've got younger people living with you in your house, or you've got kids, pray for them and speak a blessing over them. Cancel all negative words that have been spoken over them. Ask God to lead and guide them and protect them and he will. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for the younger generation in this time. It is evident the devil and his cohorts are conducting a massive attack on the younger generation. And this attack is manifesting in the way of ideas being sown in their mind that are contrary to your way, contrary to your will, contrary to what's written in the Word of God. I pray for the younger generation in my dear friend's family, in my dear friend's household, 
and in my dear friends community and the younger generation of believers around the world protect them protect them from the pollution of the world keep them pure keep them safe so that they may walk in the fullness of what you have planned for them for your word says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord so from your word father we know you have great plans for the younger generation protect and preserve them wherever there is any influence of the enemy trying to lead the younger generation the wrong way I pray father remove that influence block that influence put a desire in the hearts and minds of the younger generation to go for you and to seek you and as they follow you let it be an amazing journey in you as they choose to hold on to your word let them experience an amazing adventure filled with goodness and mercy and your grace that is sufficient do something new in their lives something great intervene divinely where divine intervention is needed and I pray for the younger generation as they study in school in university help them help them to do well help them to succeed help them to make choices well so that they don't end up in trouble and in situations that they wish they never ended up in so that as they grow up they may grow up seeking you without regrets but absolutely happy and confident in you and being in a place where they are set up for greatness they will go forward and make a massive impact thank you for your grace if my dear friend who's watching this video is a parent and my dear friend has children or a child give my dear friend the grace to be a good parent and to be a good influence and leader in the life of that young one that you have given them every good and perfect gift comes from you bless my dear friend mightily even as my dear friend looks out for the younger generation around them. Bless my dear friend mightily, even as my dear friend speaks blessings over the younger generation. And out of this generation, do something great and something new. We know that you protect your children, and even the younger ones, you care about them and you love them so much and you smile on them you want what is good for them therefore bless them I pray for the younger generation that has been hurt that have gone through things that no one should go through I pray that you will give them peace and help them to overcome give them strength and deliver them Father, sometimes in life we face things that no one would ask for. And it's tragic when a young person experiences these things and doesn't know what to do. So if there's anyone who falls into that category who watches this video, who prays along with me, release grace, that they will receive healing that they will receive deliverance, that they will receive strength to keep on going. I pray this prayer with a sincere heart and I cry out for the younger generation. I pray, Lord, let there be a massive revival in the hearts of the younger generation. Raise up the leaders of tomorrow and bless and anoint them. Raise up a generation that is after your own heart a generation that answers the call in the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 when you said who will go for us who shall I send a generation that stands up for what is right 
I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, now, if you are a parent and you have your child with you, lay your hands on your child and just begin to bless your child. Speak words of life. Speak words of peace. Speak words of success. Because if you truly love that child, you want them, as they grow up, to surpass what you have done and to break free of the cycles that the generations before have been held in. Prophesy over them that they will do great things. They will make a difference and a change. And decree and declare freedom over them. Decree and declare inner healing and happiness. Decree and declare restoration of all that they lost. Decree and declare a good future and a life over them. In Jesus' name. God bless you, my dear friend. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sowing the seed of time to pray along with me for the younger generation. From myself, Evangelist Thank Gabriel you for Fernandez. If you were blessed God by bless this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.